I had to take responsibility for my uh, health, of my own well-being. You know. So well, what I'm going to say to you guys now, pay attention. I'm not going to use heavy English to call out words that you might find it difficult to understand. So I'm going. We're going to talk. We're going to have a conversation in very simple, plain English. In fact, we could use pidgin English so that Mama and Papa in the village can better understand and like listen to me, understand what I'm about to tell you guys now because I'm not here to play around. Eh? I guarantee you if you can listen to me, if you can like give me your time and learn from what I have learned, learn from my experience, it might, it will help you live a little bit longer. You will be able to take care of yourself, know the right things to eat, so you can live a happy, healthy life. You know, the reason why I set up Crack House Nutritional ch Channel is because of the things I've been through. It's because of what I went through. You know, in my place, with the talk, say, say, say now, something made crayfish burn. Say, something made crayfish burn. You know, say, they say, now, something that made crayfish burn. <laughs> and you know that when they say, um, a, a cornered rat can be very, very dangerous. You corner the rat, the rat can be, because it's, it's you know, it's a survival thing. I had some problems a while ago. I was going to the hospital every other week. So why I'm making this channel, well, why I created this channel is to share with you the experiences I've had. Because I had some health issues. I had issues with my health. I was going to the hospital every week, every other week. I have changed doctors. You know, private practitioners have changed them like, you know, over until at a point I started like, I started feeling like I was a nuisance to them. You know what I mean? Every week, the hospital, every week, every other hospital, the same complaint. I will always tell them the same thing, how I feel. And they will always tell me the same thing. Yeah, nothing is wrong with you. This is what is going on. We'll prescribe drugs. They, you know, they always prescribe drugs. They will write me drugs. I should take the drugs and this, that, that, and everything will be fine. But when I take the drugs, nothing was fine after taking the drugs. I don't know if my English is correct. I really don't care. After taking the drugs, taking all the drugs I was prescribed to be taking, nothing was all right. I was still feeling the way, the exact same way I was feeling before they prescribed me the drugs. So uh, at a point I became, you know, at a point I got fed up. I got fed up. I said to, to myself, look, if these people, if these people can't help me, I think it's my responsibility to take care to find out what the hell is wrong with me. That's exactly what I said to myself, what I told to myself. I think it's my responsibility. If they can't help me, I am not going to any other doctor again to tell them the same email. I see the same thing and he or she is going to tell me exactly the same thing, the other doctors, because they've been trained one way. They train them one way to do one thing, uh, uh, you know, a certain way. So they're all following that strategy. They are all following the, 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 uh, uh, what they were taught at medical school. So I was like, no, I am not going to any doctor again. I have to take response. I know I have to find out what is wrong with me. I'm going to tell you guys what happened, how, what I found out. So I started researching. I started doing some research. I started reading. I started, you know, I went online, look for videos, look for books, books on health and books on, you know, human anatomy, 
the human, how the human body works. You know, see, me, I, I'm a very, you know, I, I, I can be a very weird person at times. When I'm pushed to a corner, when I'm cornered, when I am in distress, I can do weird things. I can do things that you'll be like, for real. I was cornered, so I started researching. I started doing research. I started studying. I started learning. I was going through lots of videos on YouTube, going through lots of videos on the internet, going through lots of books written by professors, doctors, herbalists, traditional healers, voodoo doctors, you name them. See, see guys, let me tell you guys something. The thing that is worrying you, that thing that has been disturbing your life for the past God knows how long, it's got nothing. It's got nothing to do with Holy Ghost fire. It's got nothing to do with the devil. It's got nothing to do with witches and wizards. I'm going to tell you what your problem is. I'm going to tell you what your problem is. Stop letting people fool you out of your heart in money. Stop giving criminals your money all in the name of God. Stop giving people who are parading themselves as a man of God. To stop giving them your money. They are lying to you. They've got no clue on what is wrong with you. I'm going to tell you what your problem is. I'm going to tell you what the cause of your problems. If you're a Niger person listening to me, pay attention. So I started doing research, reading books, watching videos on YouTube until I came across a man. Until I came across Dr. Sebi, the late Dr. Sebi. Now, let me make this clear first. I am no Dr. Sebi's fan. In fact, I'm not following any of Dr. Sebi's diet plan. No, no. But after listening to Dr. Sebi, I picked out some things. I picked out some things. I, after listening to Dr. Sebi, what Dr. Sebi, you know, I listened, you know, the, the first time I watched Dr. Sebi's uh, um, the seminar, I was like, wow, this man is making sense. You know, I listened to Dr. Sebi talked about food. I listened to the first, you know, all the other videos I've been watching and they, they were always talking about, yeah, this, 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 and then you take these drugs and then the, 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 these drugs will do this, that, 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 that. The first time that the only person, you know, it, it, it was very strange. It was very strange. The first time I saw Dr. Uh, Dr. Sebi's video, he never mentioned drugs. He was talking about food. <laughs> you know, he grabbed, he grabbed or grabs my attention. He captured my attention. He was talking about food. So I listened to Dr. Sebi talk about food. The food we should be eating. The food Africans should eat and the food non-Africans should eat. The food Africans shouldn't eat and the things non-Africans shouldn't eat. I listened to Dr. Sebi. I was spellbound. I was like, wow, this man is really, you know, this man is making sense. This man has some, you know, he has a point. I told myself, this man has got something. So I continued listening to him. I, you know, I downloaded more, more videos from, of Dr. Sebi. I listened, listened, read books. But like I said, I am no Dr. Sebi's like a, 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 I am no Dr. Sebi's disciple per se. Meaning I'm not following Dr. Sebi's diet. Not 100%. I'm following Dr. Sebi's diet 50%. And also using my common sense. But let, 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 let me explain that. What I mean be say, I they take Dr. Sebi's ideas, 50%, then use my own ideas where my common sense gets, where me I get as common sense, 50%, and then I'm, you know, then I do something with it. So after listening to Dr. Sebi, I came to realize that my problems could only be coming from food. The things I'm 
feeding myself. The things I've been feeding to myself since I came to Europe. I, I made this realization. I, I, I was like, damn, what the hell have I been feeding myself? What the hell am I eating? We're going to pay attention or pay attention for real. Listen, listen. I just, you know, I did what Dr. Sebi said people should do. I fasted for like three days on water and on herbal tea. Three fucking days. Three, only three days. I fasted on herbal tea and water. And uh, I, I, after the third day, I started drinking vegetable smoothie. I started grinding vegetables and drinking it as smoothies. I swear to God, the problem I was going to the hospital every week looking for solution, it disappeared without me taking any drugs, without me taking... It, it went away. All the problems, my high blood pressure, everything disappeared. High blood pressure went down, went back to normal. My stomach, the ulcer I had disappeared. Everything I had disappeared. I was like, what the hell? Remember the doctors, is it the orthodox? They were prescribing drugs and their drugs wasn't working. Had no effect on me. Because why? I was because why while I was taking their drugs I was still eating the rubbish I was eating you know while I was taking the drugs prescribed to me by the hospital I was still feeding myself junk food I was still feeding myself starch and sugar I was still feeding myself on healthy processed GMO stuff you don't ever wonder why we say your sick relative, your sick father, your sick mother, your sick brother, your sick uncle, sick person where you know. Despite taking that person to the hospital, despite them prescribing thousands of drugs, despite them prescribing all the drugs on this planet for that person to be taking, at the end of the day, that person still ends up dying. Have you ever asked yourself why? Do you want to know why? Should I tell you why? The reason is, the, the reason that your person, the reason person, the reason you're still dying, despite taking all the medicines your all your money can buy, is because they are not telling you what the right thing you should do. The reason is because you're not being told what you should do to make them medicine you're taking, to make them drugs you're taking works. Nobody has informed you on what you should do in order to make to, 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 to help the drugs that you're putting into your body works. Because as long as you're taking drugs, no, 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 you're taking drugs where they prescribe give you. But as long as you're still feeding yourself on healthy diet. On, uh, as long as you're still on an uh, unhealthy diet, as long as you're still drinking alcohol, as long as you're still drinking a, 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 a cow milk, as long as you're still feeding yourself gari, fufu, pomo, rice and beans, goat meat, chicken, a hog, a cow meat, all those things, amala, and the rest of them eating too much a kusi or eating too much a, a palm oil. As long as you're still living that life, eating soya every night on lots of spices, as long as you're still living that life, them drugs you're taking, them drugs where you they take, where supposed heal you, where supposed aid in healing you, them no go work. This is what none of them hospital is going to tell you. In most cases, if it be say them, no, no. If it be say them no no, so if them no no, how them go let you know? You've got to listen to people. You've got to like pay. At, in fact, pay attention to how your life, how your body works for a minute. Take out time. Pay attention to how your body works for a minute. 
You take in food through your mouth. The food goes down your stomach. After a few hours or a few days, the food, some things popped out of your ass. You've got to pay attention how your body works. Why is it so? Pay attention and ask yourself, why is it so? How is it possible? How is this possible? How is that possible? How is it possible that you take in food through your mouth? It goes down your stomach. After a while, in, in some cases, a day, if you're living healthy, a day or so, the residue pops out, pops out of your ass. Ask yourself, how is this possible? Because if you compare that to the vehicle you're driving in, it's, it's the same process that goes on. You put fuel in your vehicle, you drive it, after a while, the fuel is... No, 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 no. The, the, yeah, 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 yeah. After a while, the fuel is exhausted. You put fuel in your vehicle, the fuel goes into the engine, works its magic, and something comes out of the, of the, uh, 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 of the exhaust pipe. Once in a while, you've got to service your vehicle. Once in a while, you've got to clean your plugs. Once in a while, you've got to change your, uh, 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 your plugs and air filter. And you've got to feed yourself, your vehicle, that your vehicle, good motor oil. You've got to feed that vehicle good petrol. If you put water in that vehicle, it's going to spoil that vehicle. If you put mixture of water and any other thing, it's going to destroy your engine. Matter of fact, if your engine is running on petrol and instead of you putting petrol in the tank, you put diesel, it's going to destroy, it's not going to work. It might work, I don't know, I've never tried before, I'm not going to try it, I don't know, it might work, but it's not going to perform the way petrol would perform because that engine was designed to run on petrol. I don't know if I'm making sense. So the reason why your person is still dying, the reason why your person still ends up dying after taking all the drugs you've spent money to acquire for him or her is because while you're giving that person that drug, you're still feeding that person rice and beans and rice and stew and amala and ekusi and akbu, akbu, panderiam, um, gari. I'm not saying these things are bad. Let's not get things twisted and mixed up. I'm not saying eating those things is bad. I'm saying eating those things the way we eat them in Niger is dangerous. Eating those things the way we eat them is dangerous. We are eating them every day. And I don't really blame us for eating those things like that. It's because we don't know that we shouldn't be eating those things huge quantities every day because no one has told us that we shouldn't be eating gary stash every day sometimes three times a day nobody has told us we've not been educated on the fact say we're not supposed to eat pounded yam every day sometimes three times a day nobody don't tell us say we're not supposed to cook a kusi a kusi webby melon melon seed we contain oil already. Then we still can add palm oil on top of it. Then we can't put palm oil on top of it. We be cow skin, we be fat, extra oil too. Then we can't put fish. Fish, we get oil too for body. And in, in some cases, we they put we they add stock fish. We are very high in mercury. Nobody don't tell us all these things. And then we come add cow meat. Add. And then we go, because we feel say we are rich, because you feel if you eat like that, it means you're, 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 you're wealthy. It means you're doing well in life. That, that's the thing where we don't mess our head up. If you live that rubbish, that unhealthy life, it means say you're, you're okay. They say you'll be a gag, but I say you'll be a big man. Pay attention. That is the reason why, that is why most of our people, they are, after eating all these things, they will be walking about with heavy tummy, with a heavy stomach, 
with huge stomach as they are like they are 7, 12, 10, 14 months pregnant. So I'm saying to you, until you change your lifestyle, change your lifestyle, change the way you eat, do things, change the way you live, change the things you eat, change your diet. Change your diet and you will see them drugs where you they take, they're going to start doing what they are supposed to do in your body. If you are the type who is taking drugs. But I tell you like this. If you change your lifestyle, you will not need to take anything, any drugs any longer. Because once you stop eating those rubbish and go back to eating the things you were supposed to be eating, all your problems will disappear. It's a fact. Doctors don't begin to realize that now. Say all the wahalas, where you they get, them come from your tummy. That's the reason the drugs didn't have effect. Because to, to start with, you don't need drugs. You don't need drugs to heal yourself. This is what I've come to realize. That you don't need to take any drugs to heal yourself. All you need to do is change your habit. Change your lifestyle. It's a fact. <laughs> I know I'm screaming. All you need to do is change your fucking lifestyle. Change your diet. Stop eating the nonsense you're eating. Fact. You've got to heal your body from the inside. Because check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Waiting they cause high blood pressure. Waiting they cause high blood pressure. Insulin resistant. Waiting they cause insulin resistant. Sugar and starch. Waiting be sugar. How you they get? How where sugar? In fact, how you they take get sugar and starch into your body by eating too much Gary Fufu? pounded yam, all those stuff, you know, and bad cholesterol, bad LDL cholesterol, they block your arteries, where you they get them from palm oil and all those things, too much ecusi, you understand, so imagine say you get high blood pressure, you go hospital, then prescribe drugs, where go, where suppose, where they don't synthesize, the, the drug supposed to work 80%, bring your blood pressure down. So you begin to take these drugs without exercising. Even though you the exercise, you begin to take the drugs, but you keep on feeding yourself the same pounded yam, rice and beans, and all those things, you know, every single day. You feel, say, your blood pressure will go down, despite, say, you they take drugs. Hell no. Hell to the no. Hell to the no. You first, you, first of all, you've got to stop feeding yourself rice and beans, but more cow legs and pounded yam, rice, uh, gari, fufu, amala. You've got to stop eating those things first before you think of taking high blood pressure blockers. It's a fact. You know, after listening to Dr. Sebi, I was like, damn, man. <laughs> I was like, damn, I've got to bring this info to my people. After listening to Dr. Sebi, and then uh, and I tasted the, 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 the idea, the, you know, I tasted the theory on myself, and it worked. It worked. I was like, no, I've got to bring this info to my people. I've got to inform my people. I've got to let my people know what's up. Because my people are dying. My people are dying, not knowing what is killing them. My people are dying blind. My people are dying blind. My people are dying, not knowing what is killing them. Somebody is sick in the village, has dementia. They carry and go hospital. Yeah, they carry and go hospital, then go give and drugs. But then the people for us go still they feed them Gary and Fufu every day. Why? Because them no know. 
because they no know. Because that's the only thing they they know how to eat. That is the only thing they feed feed themselves. They still they feed amala. They still they eat a, a kusi soup. Still they cook with enough palm oil. Because they no know. Because you guys don't know. So somebody's got to bring this message to you guys. So pay attention. I'm Henry Crackhouse. Like, share and subscribe so that you could get enough notification anytime we are drop videos because I could drop these kind of videos from now on. Make I enlighten my people so that I make my people also follow try live a little longer for this our uh, planet you know thanks for watching